Hello there, it's the 3rd of May 2015, welcome to Essex United Kingdom. Now the purpose of the video this evening is to show you some tropical plants that I'm going to be growing. So and what we have here is some snake beans, otherwise known as yard long beans, Bora, Bodhi, Chinese long bean or sea tail. Latin name Vigna unguiculata and the subspecies is Sesquipedalis. So um, you can get bush or climbing varieties and here I have some climbing varieties. Now uh, they do well around 25 degrees C, which uh, we do get in the United Kingdom, but it definitely cannot be guaranteed for a sustained period. So I'm going to be putting these in my polytunnel. Now, these I put in to grow about, probably about a month ago. So you can see they're not doing too bad. They've obviously not got optimal conditions because uh, I've had them inside in the window sill, on the uh, window sill, but... Uh, Nonetheless, here they are. I put a, I put a nine in, and we've got to, we've got three. So, so there we go. Now, um, they're common around Southeast Asia, and they're similar to green beans. Um, you can eat them fresh, or you can eat them cooked in stir fries. And uh, under ideal conditions, they flower after about two months, and uh, the beans can be seen hanging and ready to eat after about three months. So. Um, we have them ones. I also put some more in to grow the day before yesterday, and you can see here they're uh, starting to germinate already. So they are germinating very quick in this root trainer. Had them in the root trainer, and I put the uh, put the lid on there for a bit of extra heat. So I'm hoping for success with those. Now <clears throat> here I'm growing another vegetable, namely bitter melon, otherwise known as empalaya, bitter gourd or balsam pear, the Latin name or Mordica charantia. Now uh, these are popular in Asian, African and Caribbean cuisine and they look like sort of a, a knobbly cucumber. You can use them in stir fries and uh, they also put them in drinks as well and they're said to be beneficial to diabetes for blood sugar control but uh, pregnant women must not eat them as it's a uh, in extreme cases, I have led to abortion. Another vegetable I'm growing this year is known as the long melon or opos squash. So it looks like a, a green, a bit, a sort of a big green squash. Latin name Laganaria cesarea. So uh, you can eat this as a vegetable, or you can it's dried and used as a bottle in the. Uh, some sort of uh, tribal cultures and you can also make instruments out of the the dried gourd as well so um, many years ago they said that the seeds were transferred by gourds floating across the ocean or by human migration and um, they they are a bitter taste caused by a certain compound in them which has been led to a stomach ulcers so and in extreme cases death from drinking the juice the juice so um the way to get around this is to discard excessively bitter gourds or um you definitely don't eat them if they are they are bitter so um this is said to be caused by temperature swings high temperature and um over ripening but uh, they're used in stir fries soups and chutneys and another thing I'm growing this year, I'm having a go at some black panther watermelons. Now, not too much needs to be said about watermelons. We all know what they are, but um, I'm going to have a go at growing some of these and keep them in this propagator and uh, hope for the best, really. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm having a go at. I mean, I think it's worth having a go at this sort of thing. It might be a complete uh, sort of waste of time and I might not get uh, I might not get anything, but... Uh, all these things will be put in the polytunnel when they're ready to be transferred, and um, I hope for success. Okay, speak to you soon.